service is the lifeblood of this country. We have seen this throughout our history. In times of crises, America stand up, America's, Americans give back. We saw it during World War I and II. We see it when the Red Cross helped soldiers and their families and returning veterans and later relief efforts during the Great Depression. We saw this after 9-11 when our citizens, young and old, sprung into action to help their, their fellow neighbors. We saw it in the wake of Hurricane Katrina and Rita when volunteers on the ground were there before the federal government. We saw we, we, they were beacons of hope amid, amid serious despair. Today, volunteers continue to play a huge role in Gulf Coast relief efforts. We've seen it in my state of California when, we, when communities were ravaged by floods, by earthquakes, and by wildfires. We saw it this last June in the flood devastated home, homes and businesses in, in, southeast, in southeast Iowa. We, even before, this, even before the storms came, volunteers were there. To date, AmeriCorps has coordinated over 800,000 volunteer hours in Iowa. Volunteers play many roles. They teach, they teach in our classrooms, they clean up our trails and our public lands, they build and weatherize homes, they shelter the homeless, they feed the hungry. That's what Americans do for one another. That's what Americans do in the name of service. They learn skills, they teach others those skills, so they can not only participate with Habitat Humanity, but they can develop a career ladder in the construction trades. They pass on those skills to others in communities, so communities can, can help build build stronger communities and better homes to be weatherized, to be energy efficient. They tutor our children. They mentor, our, they mentor school, students in school. They help our community. They build our communities. They strengthen our communities. We have seen them come from all walks of life from young students who want to give to their community, who want to participate, to senior citizens who continue to take their skills and their talents from their working life and repatriate them back to the community in helping others, the next generation after them. Our generation was called by President Kennedy to do this. This generation is being called by President Obama to this. And millions of Americans are answering the call and preparing others to answer that call. This is what strengthens our communities. This is what builds our communities. This is what makes America, America. People do it, some for a small stipend, some for an educational benefit, some for free. They come from all different places on the, on the compass to help Americans in our, in our communities. There's a huge focus in this legislation on, from middle school to senior citizens to tying this to a benefit for education so young students in middle schools can earn a small, a small benef educational benefit that they can redeem when they go to community college or to the university. And for, students who, for young people who work full time in AmeriCorps, they can earn, they can earn a, a stipend of almost $4,700, $4,800 that they can redeem to help pay for their college education. Senior citizens, too, can get, get, can get a stipend and get help for, for education if they want to continue their education. So it's a very important piece, and it's about American values. It's about the value of education. It's about the value of Americans helping one another. It's about how we treat our communities. That's what the AmeriCorps has done. You know, we have, a, we have a, an organization that's been building homes in, building homes in Louisiana uh, after Hurricane Katrina in St. Bernard Parish, and today... Today, they will welcome their 200th family back to a home, a gift from the community, from volunteers in America, to those families that were ravaged, that lost everything. That's what this bill will enable more Americans to Gentleman do. That's expired. what this bill will do for our communities. I yield back the balance of my time.